Hey, I'm Hingers and welcome to Pocket, and another week of gaming news, reviews and other stuff. <laughs> Today we are cruising through outer space with IGF's grand prize winner, Outer Wilds. First up, the news, and a dastardly heist has taken place in EVE Online. Player Non Arata infiltrated one of the game's larger corporations, Vanguard Frontiers, and stole 600 billion in-game credits. That's about 17,000 real-world dollars. The swindle took six months as Arata gradually won the respect of Vanguard's leaders, securing himself a position as corporate director. Armed with his new access, Arata waited until his colleagues logged off for the night and went on a stealing spree. Quite a successful one. PAX East was held in Boston, Massachusetts over the weekend, and all the big games were there. Here's a quick look at some of the new footage released. Now, it's space time. Outer Wilds is a space exploration game from the aptly named Team Outer Wilds. Despite the fact that it's still in alpha, the game has attracted a lot of public attention and critical acclaim, not least of which are the two Independent Games Festival awards it scored last week, winning for Excellence in Design and Best Independent Game. The free alpha build is available on the developer's website and that is what we'll be checking out today, so let's suit up and get into it! It's quite an exciting concept at first. You walk up to your freshly outfitted spacecraft, don your suit and lift off into open space. Then it's time to explore! And that's kind of it. I kind of like the geometry of space because you're moving relative to celestial bodies. You can't just move forward and backwards. You can't just stop because everything is moving and there's just a vacuum. So you've got to orient yourself in the direction the planet is traveling towards in order to land on it. Or just set the autopilot to do it for you. <laughs> I've set myself up with a controller, which the game suggests, but I'm still just kind of flailing around wildly in the vacuum. Alright, let's try and nail a landing on this planet because it looks like its surface is entirely liquid and I'm hoping that'll make for a softer landing. There seems to be a tornado heading towards me that I can't avoid. Let's get away from it. Oh, God. oh no, there's another one. Why are there so many tornadoes? It's a little windy out today. I wonder where the currents will take us. There used to be an ancient satellite in orbit around this planet, but not too long ago, it shot something into space and then fell out of the sky and sank to the center of the ocean. A mystery to solve on this planet. Why am I moving? Where am I going? What's happening? Oh no! Ah! All right, so now I'm being flung off the planet. What is going on? The game appears to be sending me all over this little solar system. And that's kind of cool because exploration is feeding the puzzle solving. And then that in turn brings you to somewhere else where, you know, it'll be fed more puzzles. I've been playing the game for about an hour and a half now and I feel like I've got nothing to show for it. There are all these little dangling carrots of riddles to solve and things to achieve, but I just haven't gotten anywhere. For a lot of people, the freedom of exploration will be really exciting and the little riddles will be enough to keep them engaged. I can understand why it won the design award. It's a solar system that's bursting with style, but at this point, that's at the expense of substance. Well, there goes the universe, <laughs> and on that cataclysmic note, that's all the time we have for today's show. Like we said, the Outer Wilds Alpha is available free from the devs website, so check it out and let us know what you think. Until tomorrow, see ya!